Hello! Ooh, we're um, getting a time stamp alert. See, I don't know about you or your cameras or whatever you use if you do a lot of filming, um, but once mine gets below an hour, it sort of says, hey, this is how much time you've got. Um, and it doesn't seem to do that below, you know, over an hour. So I've got over an hour. if it doesn't give a time, I've got over an hour. If it does give a time, I've got less than an hour. But that still means about six videos. If me and Adam don't do a, a cinema trip in the next few days. Which we're not going to because I'm not going to see him until Tuesday. So there you go. Um, speaking of, so I was at work today and that was fine. I got called in last minute rather than town. But again, it's fine. I got paid for six hours instead of seven. Um, and it was you know, a different place. It was nice to mix it up now and again. Um, but... I'm working tomorrow as well, so that's nice. Not the early, early shift. So it's like, I'm in two minds about that when working on a Saturday because on one hand it's getting up early, which I don't like doing, but then I'll be finishing early and then I should be out of town by the time it's crazy or I'm doing the shift I'm doing, which is 10 6, which basically means you're in town the whole time of the crazy. So there's that. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. <coughs> but on the other hand, it does mean I've got three days, three days work this week. So going up. Oh, and I've got a um, follow-up meeting thing, interview thing. Um, the person I interviewed with at the <coughs> cleaning job on Monday, um, her boss wants to meet me. So, fingers crossed, I don't know what <coughs> what that means, maybe the, her boss is meeting a couple of the other people that um, were also interviewed last week, but, you know, it's still a positive move forward, I'm still, you know, it's, it's a good thing, I'm, I'm taking it as a good thing, um, so, yeah, so today's mostly been waking up, going to work, and then I've actually been chilling out. I've already eaten dinner. I, I ate dinner really early today. Normally I have it like seven or eight, and it's like eight, nine o'clock now. So I'm actually getting hungry because I had it at six. I might have a sandwich. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about this. Well, not this specifically. If you actually want to talk about this, unless you've got actual questions about the book itself, then feel free. You know, it's open forum. But no, we are here to answer the questions that are within. And of course, once again, I haven't flipped the page over. And yeah, sorry about my throat. <coughs> bit, bit of a croaky. Bit of a croaky. Not sure where that came from, but yeah. Ooh. Which of your parents are you most like? What makes you similar? Um. There you go. I. Physically, looks wise, I am my mum. Um, cute story. When I was at the store, um, I think I can't remember if I told this story or not, but I'm telling it here. When I was at the store, um, my dad came in to look to buy a phone. And obviously, like most places, we have a policy of not serving friends and relatives. So after so he sort of initially came in and said hello and, you know, all that stuff, I said to my colleague, who He's definitely more okay with phone. He's always better, he's better for phone sales than me, for salesman than me, regardless. So anyway, he and Dad, I was like, hey, could you, sir? I can't. Could you help my dad? You know, obviously, I'm not allowed to. Um, so he basically, him and my dad were like about 12 minutes, uh, half an hour, I think. Good, good long while just sort of chatting back and forth, and you know, picking the right phone and discussing special features and all this stuff. And I was just carrying on serving other customers. And then, uh, obviously, when it came to Dad purchasing the phone, he, you know, I obviously then got my disc. He could take advantage of my discount because why not? Um, and then when he left, my colleague was like, "You look like your dad." I was like, "I'm not sure, but okay, you're well, fine." So he did so. Anyway, my mum came in. Oh, this is weeks later. Mum popped in for like five minutes, just to say hello, do something, and then go off again. And then the same colleague came up to me and said. Take it back, you look like your mum. 
<laughs> so looks wise I look like my mum definitely um she looks like her sisters um the three of them look alike and I look like them um my sister not as much I think my sister looks a bit more like dad I mean you can tell we're related but you know I think I look more like my mum and her sisters than my sister looks like our mum and aunt I think anyway so that's <laughs> Um, so physically I look like my mum. Otherwise, I always say that I think I got the best of both my parents. Um, I got my dad's logic puzzle solving. Um, not really his quite his engineering or his math skills. Um, but yeah, his he actually taught me how to do um, logic puzzles, although I haven't done it in ages because sometimes I get frustrated with them. Um, so he taught me that, so I got my rationality from my dad. Um, I got my artistic bent from my mother. Um, even though she doesn't anymore, to be fair I haven't done anything really creative for a while. Um, YouTube doesn't count. Well, like, what was I've done, I made like the um, things I've shown you before. I mean, yeah, this painting idea, but that was a few years back. The um, Doctor Who thing next to it, um, my sister-in-law did. Uh, but the little that I painted as well but again these are quite a way while ago um made some Fimo models but I'm not digging those out right now so I have done some stuff but not really much recently oh yeah I think the last thing I did was um astrocyte and a random doodle so yeah okay done done some art artistic stuff but not not a lot recently but I haven't been inspired recently I was talking to a young friend of mine and we were both like Shh. We were both like, oh, you know, I would do more, I want to be more creative and do stuff. And it's like, yeah, I know what you mean. And, so, and he's recently found um, his muse again, whereas I'm just like, oh, I don't know. I tried like doodling the other day and I just had an idea in my head, but I couldn't sort of put it to paper. Um, but yeah, I don't know when the last time mum did anything creative, which is a shame because it's actually very good. Uh, I've got very good you know, memories of when she went to uh, college um, when I was a kid. Just do it was like a part-time evening class. I think it was only six to ten weeks or whatever it was. But I do remember making, her making some really nice pictures and then being like framed up in the house for ages. And what happened to them? But she's got talent and she actually applies it. So I get a bit frustrated about that actually because I'm like, dude, you got you can. I actually one Christmas I bought her a sketch, you know, some paper and some pencils and you know some actual nice little art kit so she's like oh yeah we mean to get back into it how she's actually not, not done anything with it even if you just get those adult coloring books and some pencils and do something with that um you know actually to be fair we had a couple of years back we had a family raffle thing and that was the um because it was like everyone bring a prize and then everyone else will get a prize so you know you bring something in um you know Ticket. If you you get, we I think we got a hand in giant playing cards, and so what, what, what card came out of the packet, that was that person won that prize. Um, so they randomly put the prize, you know, the token on the prize. And you had to do like little things for it. Um, my card wasn't pulled out straight away um, because all the things were wrapped. Um, you had like various challenges. Like one of them was to find AAA batteries. Uh, another one was to recite a poem of some sort. But I had like the best one. It was like, uh, find something sticky. And of course, by this point, there was already people around me that had unwrapped their presents. So I was like, sell a tape! <laughs> um, what did I win? I thought I opened a bottle of vodka and a, a glass smell of thing. So that was cool. Um, but yeah, I, I, the prize that I donated was, um, I think it was a coloring book of rude words or something. Just nothing too. Um, but yeah, and um, I put a packet of pencils with it because even though most of my fam have got younger people or, or your grandchildren or you know whatever, I thought well if I give pencils as well, then you're definitely gonna have the pencils there rather than coloring book and nothing to do with. So um, actually, Crin, uh, my, my sister won that. <laughs> I don't know what she's done with it. Actually, I'm asked her. I hope she's coloured it in and done something with it. But yeah, so. Um, yeah, logic and puzzle solving and practicality I get from my, my dad, 
Uh, my creativity and obsessive behaviour I get from my mum. I recognise my behaviour as occasionally being obsessive. Mother does not. Follow me on Twitter! <laughs> Mum's alright, she's just... Mm, we'll focus on the creativity. Uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter, I've started posting stuff again. I've recently linked to uh, an interesting thread about a, a sunken city, so check that out. It should be one of the top things I've tweeted, or retweeted. Um, and yeah, feel free to like, share, subscribe, especially subscribing because it's always fun. And tell me your family things. Do you, you resemble your parents? Do you take their traits and stuff? I probably have some stubbornness from my parents as well, but yeah. I think it's a good mix, you know, art and puzzle solving. So yes, as always, thank you for watching, especially if you're watching this last little ramble because you are one of the awesome people and I will not have anyone say otherwise. I mean it. Don't, don't put yourself down. You're awesome. I just told you. And I'm on the internet, so it must be true. <laughs> Alright, um, thanks for watching. I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!